what's up YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And it is Transformers week, and today we'll be reviewing the new set I just got off Amazon. This is the re-release of Transformers Combiner Wars Devastator. And I have them in combined mode. I am going to split these guys into their vehicle modes. But to just get combined mode done, I just wanted to do that first. But before we look at the figure itself, let's look at the packaging. Shall we? Let's. I'm going to have to pull the tripod back a bit. And here we have a product shot of Devastator's combined mode. And this is some nice art artwork on the box. I love it. And there we have the Constructicons vehicle mode. Transformers Combiner Wars Devastator. And it includes a collector's card. Product shot of the bots that form Devastator. Hook. Long haul. Scrapper. Not Scrapper. Scavenger. Sorry if I have to correct myself. <laughs> Bone Crusher. Scavenger, and Mixmaster. And now we're going to look at the other side of the box. We got some nice artwork of the big boy himself, Devastator. I love that product shot. I do. And we even get a product shot of the vehicle modes and the Constructicons themselves. And we're going to get down to comparison. Now I'm going to put the tripod back where I have it, and it does come with a Combiner Wars collector's card with this set. So let's get down to comparison. Here is Combiner Wars Devastator <clears throat> next to Titan's Return Trypticon, and he is bigger Trypticon is bigger than Devastator. I had to bring this out for this review. And now we're going to compare him with some other Combiner Wars. Here he is next to Superion. I don't have Defensor. I am going to get a KO Defensor ship from China. But there he is next to Combiner Wars... Defensor. Not Defensor, Superion. <laughs> a lot of corrected in this video, so please do forgive. Here he is next to another Decepticon combiner I own. Menasaur. And he looks good with Menasaur. And finally, who could forget my favorite combiner... Bruticus! And he topples over Big Bad Bruticus. <laughs> That's what you get when you get a Combiner Wars figure. They topple over anything else. And that's all there is to say for comparison. Let's get down to converting them into their vehicle forms. We're going to disconnect the chest, which is easy. <laughs> to do. Come on. Pop loose. This will form another part. Disconnect Bone Crusher. Disconnect the gun. Disconnect Bone Crusher. Yep. He is in there good. Definitely going to have to move him with some care, huh? Oh. <laughs> There we got Bone Crusher undone. Man, a lot of tough joints on this figure. And there's Scavenger. Some guns fell. Talk about tough connections for Hook. Can I get them out without breaking them? And we got Hook disconnected. A lot of fussing with this figure. 
Now we're going to disconnect Bone Crusher. Not Bone Crusher. Scavenger. Last but not least, Mixmaster. As soon as I can get him unpegged. And these are some tough pegs to get unpegged. And there we have our big pile of bots. We're going to start transforming Long Haul because he's the easy one to transform <laughs> to vehicle mode. Fold these back like so. Now we're going to connect these inwards properly. And there we have them half done. There we got him half transformed into vehicle mode. And I will admit, these are pretty challenging and fun at times. And there we have Long Haul in his dump truck mode and he rolls very nicely if I do say so myself. Um, <laughs> making sure we don't lose all the guns. <laughs> now we're going to disconnect these fist piece. The fists. Gonna fold this down. Sorry, and I love Combiner Wars. Believe me, I do. I'm glad to own this set after all this time. You're probably wondering, why don't I have the KO Devastator? Because that one was a piece of junk. I'm going to state this on this review. If you're looking for a good quality Devastator, go with the American release. Because you get better figures that don't break easy. And I'll state which figure broke on me and why I didn't like that. Sorry, I got Pirates of the Caribbean stuck in my head a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I used to have Pirates of the Caribbean in my collection at one point. Now I don't. If I ever find them, I will get a hold of them. Because that one, that's one movie I love. And there we have Mixed Master in his vehicle form. And he rolls very nicely. Next one to do is Scavenger, which is very easy to do. We're going to fold this up, fold this up, make sure everything pegs into position. Man, I am good at this. And there we got Scavenger in his vehicle mode. Which looks really good. I dig it. Next on the list is my boy Scrapper. And the leader of this team is Scrapper. Now we're going to... And he's got a very simple vehicle form. Combined mode is pretty tough to get him into. That's why I showed off combined mode first and then did comparisons. Because combined mode is pretty big. <laughs> That's what I'm going to state. And I am going to bring a comparison to show you how tall these are next to a Combiner Wars small class figure. Because these figures are taller than regular Combiner Wars figures. And taller than the KO. And the figure... That was a pain in the neck on the KO edition that broke. They sent me a busted figure that broke right up in here. That's why I'm not recommending you get the KO. If you're going to get a set, get the American release. 
because it's not going to break on you. That's why I'm stating my nitpicks about the KO version. If you want to get one, go right ahead, but you're going to be wasting $60 in that figure from one reviewer to another. <laughs> and I highly re recommend you get this version because that version ain't going to break on you. And I do have a tendency to repeat. So, sorry about that, YouTube land. <laughs> yeah. And can we get everything to peg in? Maybe? Maybe? And there we have Hook in his vehicle mode. Which looks pretty good, if I do say so myself. And these are really nice vehicle modes, if I do say so myself. And these become weapons for the Constructicons in vehicle form, in robot mode, not vehicle form. I'm having a few correction errors today. These are like missile pods. These become missile pods. Just like the KO edition, but the KO edition is a piece of junk. I don't recommend you pick that up. If you get a, if you might manage to get it from China itself, not broken, best of luck. <laughs> because man, those figures break. And here we have all six Constructicons in their vehicle form. Sorry if I'm repeating quite a bit. But now we're going to get down to transformation into robot mode. Let's get started, shall we? Let's. We're going to start with my boy Hook, because this Hook is absolutely a good-looking Hook. Probably wondering, why don't I pick up the Studio Series Constructicons? Right now, I don't have the intention to own them as much. My reasons for it, I just don't have any desire to own them. Yeah. And there we got the lower body already done. Now we're going to disconnect his arms. Fold out his hands. And we're going to fold this back. Which is very easy to do. And here we have Hook in his robot mode. And you can give him a gun. I'm going to give him, not the missile pods. I'm going to give those to, to uh, Bone Crusher. Not Bone Crusher, Long Haul. <laughs> a lot of corrections in this video. But you can give him the hook, these little wing pieces, and he kind of has a little bow and arrow. I'm going to enjoy blasting you Autobots to pieces because I am Hook, one of the most engine members of the Constructicon team. I couldn't help but use voices on these guys. <laughs> I'm having too much fun with these. Besides for the fussing issue. Next to transform is... Let's go with... Scavenger. Yeah, I love saying his name. Scavenger. Fold this back. Fold these up, fold this down, flip out Scavenger's head, accordion this back, and then put this up. Ow. Ow. That hurt. I may have gotten my finger in that. 
little bit of ouchies, huh? Mm. Now we're going to straighten out his legs. Oh, come on, come on. And there we have his legs pretty much done. Flip out these parts of the vehicle to form his feet. And there we got, we got him almost transformed, except for his hands. They call me Scavenger. Uh-oh, time for Scavenger to scram. Yes, I got that from the G1 episode from New York. Now this is a big bad gun for a constructor guy. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy roasting some Autobots. I can't help but use commentary sometimes. Next on the list is... Scrapper. And Scrapper is an easy figure to convert. I'm going to start by unpegging his arms, pulling up his head till it clicks, fold down his legs, Fold this down, fold this down, and Hook fell over. <laughs> down goes Hook. And a little bit of singing I couldn't help to. <laughs> I have a lot of fun, I admit. <laughs> These are a lot of fun than the KO edition. And I'm so glad these finally were re-released. Paid 150 bucks for this set. And it is better than the China one. Hands down, and it doesn't have any breakage issues. I have a dislike for that set entirely. Because it broke on me. And there we have Scavenger in his robot mode. We're going to give Scavenger a weapon. And now he's got a big... Big Blaster. He's like, eat double barrel, Autobots. So says I, Scrapper. Next is Mix Master. And he is easy to transform. And I got extra guns for these figures. <laughs> In case I run out of guns. Mix Master, you're up, up next. Time for Mix Master to mix up some trouble. <laughs> I love using voices. I'm having a lot of fun here. Eh. Mix Master, ready to mix your doom, Autobots. <laughs> and I've got these to blow you out of the water. Missiles. Away! <laughs> I'm going to missile you till you're dust. So says I. Mix master. Mixing up devastation. <laughs> and I'll give this gun to Long Haul. Let's get Scrapper with this gun. Next to transform is... Bone Crusher. And Bone Crusher likes to crush everything in his way. Because he's a bulldozer. He's going to doze some Autobots. <laughs> there we got his lower body almost done. We're going to disconnect this. Split this out. Flip this up. Flip up his hidden head. Yeah. Ooh. A lot of fussing with you, huh? Now we flip this up to form your trademark chest. And your arms, I don't even have to flip out the hands because they're molded in. I love that. And there we have 
Bone Crusher in his vehicle form. Ready to demolition some Autobots. And we're going to give him this weapon I have from the Weaponizers from Siege. Which Bone Crusher can use it. Eat plasma, Autobots. Ha 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 ha. I'm going to, to your destruction. To those, your destruction is here with Bone Crusher. Yeah, I may have to, I may have a few errors with words too. <laughs> Next on the list is team member number six, and this is Long Haul. Start Pagan. Unpagan that. Flip up Long Haul's head. And they made Long Haul a tubby man. Look at this. <laughs> I get why they made him a tubby man. <laughs> because they couldn't make a better torso. I knew what I was getting in with Long Haul. And I had the KO version, which was the exact same way. It wasn't half bad. If you get the KO set... I'd say try to get one that's not broken. But this one is better quality because it's made here in the good old U.S. of A. And now Long Haul gets the double barreled blaster. I'm going to blast you with a double barreled blast. I may be a bit tubby, but I'll be your undoing, Autobots. <laughs> and I couldn't help the voice. Now I'm going to get them all in a group shot. Long haul. Bone scavenger. Scrapper. And bone crusher. Followed by that master of hooking its hook. Yep. And they look great together. I do admit, they look great. But before we end this video, one final comparison. Here he is next to Com here is a standard Combiner Wars next to Hook. And these guys are bigger than the standardized Combiner Wars. Yeah. You're probably wondering, where did I get this set? I got this from Amazon for 150 bucks. Would I recommend this set if you're looking for a good quality Combiner Wars Devastator? Yes, they are worth 150 bucks. I wouldn't get the KO set if I were you. That's only my opinion. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out.